This is my unscripted take on the day before situation as a game developer. The, the day before was the most wishlisted game on Steam. And the developers were able to generate a lot of interest. Whether it is a scam or not, I'm not going to comment on that as my personal opinion doesn't matter. I'm making this video to make sure that this doesn't happen to you in the future. I'm speaking as a game developer. First of all, please understand that game developers are, are business people. They, they are running a business. And sometimes they have to lie to generate interest so that people or investors stay happy. The gamers stay happy and they show an interest in buying the game so people can invest in the game, like investors invest in the game, and the development team has the sufficient funds required to create the game or develop the game. What people do not understand is that game developers, most of them are just looking to get rich. Some of them are passionate about what they're doing, but we know that indie developers who create fantastic games, itch.io is littered with some of the, well, I shouldn't say littered, but it's full of uh, these great indie devs that... Uh, spend years developing a very good video game. But since they fail to generate interest, people don't buy it. In fact, I'd say that there are many indie developers that are currently not earning enough to pay for food. And that is the reason why some developers in the world do these things and generate interest by lying so they can almost uh, guarantee that they will earn something from the game or get rich by selling copies of the game. So this is not a defense of the, of, of the studio that released the day before. Uh, since this is unscripted, I have completely forgotten their name. It starts with F, by the way. I don't remember the name, but I made this video, now coming back to what I, why I made this video, to help you. I want to help you. And how I'm going to do that is by explaining to you what you should look for before you buy a game. Number one, never believe what developers say. The GTA 6 trailer came out. I'm not excited at all. I will, I will wait for the game to come out and see what the content is. Do not get excited because most developers and most product engineers in the world are lying anyway. They have to gener generate interest. They have to run a business. Number two, wait for professional reviewers to review the product before you buy any product in the world. Take a look at what professionals are saying and try not to take a look at only the mainstream media. You can look at alternate media as well. Alternative media, I think it's called. Take a look at the small channels and small, uh, like small channels on YouTube and, uh, small news outlets that sometimes deliver the information that even these uh, professional and mainstream news outlets don't. So these are the two things that you should keep in mind before you buy a game next time. As I can tell you that there are many games that you can buy, which will give you a, which will basically help you kill time and will uh, hopefully add some value in your life and games can add value in your life especially if they help you in some way introduce you to a new concept or just give you new ideas about life and all its mysteries so please keep these two things in mind number one do not ever trust project and uh, do not ever trust product engineers. And number two, just wait for other people to review the product. And of course, they might, uh, some reviewers are paid to give a positive review, but I'll leave that up to you to analyze and actually tell which, which product is good and which isn't. Like, 
this camera, for example, I'm using is a, you, you might even see some of the graininess over here. And I was suggested the Logitech uh, C920, and this is the Logitech C310. However, the differences are so minor that I simply didn't, I mean, people were saying that it's going to be like this brilliant upgrade. It wasn't. I tested a that that camera and, you know, I trusted a reviewer wasn't a was a mainstream reviewer and they said that's going to be very good, but it wasn't. So sometimes you have to also, you know, take a look at the reviewer, the reputation and uh, use your use your senses to find out what they're saying is correct or not and also compare like compare reviews there are certain times people like just one thing one thing in a review can tell you that this game is not for you like if it's unoptimized the game is not for you if it is if it has a very long tutorial section and you just want to get into the game you want to start you know it doesn't have a very steep learning curve that game is not for you like um there are many games that have a steep learning curve, which you probably do not want to play. You just are a person who wants to get into the game and get into the action immediately. So reviews, walkthroughs, anything that can give you an idea whether this product is for you or not, watch them before you, before you buy a product, any product. Okay. And if everything fails, then in the end, you can buy and try it, try it out yourself, but try your best to kind of you know, do it in a safe way. Like if your friend has bought that game, just try it, try it a bit. And then, then, you know, shift to, shift to another, then, then buy the product. Or if you have any product, uh, use it first. If your friend has it, or if, if you know somebody has it, test it and then buy it. So that's another thing that I can tell you. And game developers, remember, they're business people. They will do these things. Just it's your responsibility to basically, you know, protect yourself. Because I can tell you from experience, if you if a game developer like me, if I'm about to about to release a game, if I don't generate generate interest, the game the game fails. I failed multiple times, even though even though my games were not as not relatively as bad as as uh, the games that are in the Google Play Store right now. Um, but I failed because nobody was interested in buying the products and playing them. Thank you. If you wish to support me, take a look at the links in this take a look at the links in the description. I am a teacher on Udemy. If you buy my course, I'll teach you how to become a freelance game developer which will help you quit your nine to five job or you can support me or you can support me by uh, clicking one of my affiliate links. You can also order a game from me as I am, like I stated, I'm a service provider. So you can support me either by buying my Udemy course, which will help you quit your nine to five job by becoming a freelance game developer. Number two, you can also help me by ordering a game from me. I can help you in a development of a game. Or number three, just use one of my affiliate links and um, buy the product if you are interested in, 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 in one of those projects that are listed below. Thank you very much.